Mr. Organized Home, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an Aussie Bio product review on the Kmart Spray Mop. Now, before I came across this spray mop, I had seriously been looking at mops for longer than I care to admit. So I was originally thinking that I wanted to get the Boom Joy, but I missed out on the New Year's Eve special or whatever it was for that. And so it was too expensive and I didn't buy it. And then I was thinking about getting the Co-Spray Mop, but again, it was just a little bit too expensive and I didn't buy it. And so when I finally came across this Kmart Spray Mop that was $14 for the Spray Mop and the Mop Head Attachment, I just couldn't go past it and I had to give it a try. I figure there's a whole bunch of other people out there as well who are wondering if this Kmart Spray Mop is any good. So I thought I would do a little bit of an Aussie Bio product review so that you guys can have a little bit more information about this Spray Mop before you make the decision to buy. So first things first, this mop is definitely good value for money. So it's only $10 for the actual spray mop itself. And then the mop head attachment is $4 for the basic microfiber. And then it's $6 for the double sided microfiber and noodley bit. I don't know exactly what it's called. It says it on here. I don't know how to say it. Chanooly, chanooly, the noodley bit. So the noodley bit is for dry floors and the microfiber part can be used for wet or dry floors. So when they say wet or dry, I presume that they mean that the actual mop pad can be wet or dry. I usually always use it dry, but I think that's what they mean when they say wet or dry. So the actual mop heads themselves, the microfiber bits are actually quite big, but they're not so big that they make it hard to get into the corners and things like that of the bathroom and the kitchen. So I really think that these are actually pretty good. And I think that they're a really good price. Like I said before, how can you beat that? $10 for the spray mop and then $4 for the head. You just can't fault that on price. One thing I will quickly mention here though is I couldn't find that you can buy the microfiber pads separately without the actual plastic insert that goes inside that clips onto the mop as well. And this fucking pisses me off to no end. Why would I want to buy a new attachment for the mop every single time? I just want to buy a new cloth. Like I just want to buy a new microfiber head. So that pissed me off. I really didn't like it. And I think it's super unenvironmentally friendly. <laughs> Boo. Uh-uh. Don't like that. So guys, as is with anything that is usually on the cheaper side of a product, this is a little flimsy. So I know that with this particular type of product, it's hard to kind of maintain that balance between making it light enough so that it's easy to use and it doesn't get too heavy and also making it heavy enough so that it feels like it's quality and also that you don't have to like push super hard to get everything basically that's sitting on top of the surface of the floor. This product is fairly balanced, I would say. Like it could definitely be worse, but it definitely is leaning a little bit towards the flimsy side. So because it is so lightweight, like I said, you do have to actually press a little bit harder to get stuff off the floor that is caked on or even stuff that isn't so caked on. But it has actually, you know, thought about this when they've designed it because they have added this black foam handle in the middle of the rod so that you can hold this to apply a little bit more pressure when you need to. I guess on a positive, because it's so lightweight, it's super easy to just pick up and grab and take anywhere you like. It's so easy to take upstairs and clean the ensuite that that's not really a barrier anymore. But I would say that that also has a little bit to do with the general design of a spray mop rather than the Kmart specific spray mop. So just to mention that there, it does have a really good design, but I can't really give credit to Kmart for that, really, can I? But this spray mop design is really perfect for kind of high traffic areas where you might need to get the mop out a little bit more often. Things that you're not giving quite as deep of a clean. If I was really wanting to deep clean my entire house, all of the floors, I would probably still look at using a different kind of mop. I really do feel like this mop is actually better for smaller areas that are a little bit more high traffic. For instance, I really love using this in the kitchen particularly around where the cat food bowls are because it always gets like grimy around here because opening those stupid pouches, all this bloody juice spills everywhere and there's always little flecks of cat juice on the floor. So this mop is really good for that and it's also really good for bathrooms and things like that. But I did try mopping my entire house with it and you can do it, but it's just probably not the best way to do it. If you're looking to really clean the floors, you kind of want to get in there with something a little bit more significant than the spray mop. So when I use this spray mop, I use a really simple solution that I got from a friend of mine who's actually in the cleaning business. So it's about one third vinegar and then two thirds hot water. It's obviously only hot the first time you use it. And also just a dash of morning fresh. Also, I started using a little bit of essential oils. I used tea tree oil because the vinegar smell was just so overpowering when I was cleaning the floors with this. So I've added the tea tree just to give it a little bit of a better smell. And this really has the best result if you leave it mixed in with all of the other stuff, give it a good shake and then leave it for a week before you use it. Otherwise you can just use it and then let it sit in the mop until next time you go to use it. So the second time I ever used this spray mop, I went to use it and it wasn't working properly. So all of the spray was really concentrated to the right hand side and it was like shooting out like really 
shooting out like it wasn't spraying out nicely like it usually does so all I had to do to fix this though was pick up the mop give it a good shake so that this little jangly bit in the middle of this container kind of shook around and whatever was in there obviously dislodged and it all came working again straight after that so if you do have this problem if you are using this mop just give it a shake it should come good so the mop heads definitely are reusable in the sense that you can wash them either in the washing machine or you can hand wash them and reuse them because you can only really have one though unless you want to buy a bunch of the mop heads so that you can have multiple attachments you really do have to kind of make sure that your singular microfiber cloth is ready to go the next time you use it i don't change mine every single time i use it they don't seem to get super super dirty really really quickly maybe it's because they're gray and because they're not white i don't wash mine every single time i probably use it three or four times before i actually chuck it in the wash it just depends on how dirty it is so guys, I'm going to score this product in different categories out of five, and then I'm going to tally up those results so I can come to my final decision on how many stars out of five this product deserves. So the first one I'm going to give this is I'm going to give it a five out of five for price. I just think the price on this product is so good. It's so competitive, especially compared to other spray mops out there. $14 is what you can get it for. It's such a bargain. Such good value. Five out of five for price on this one. I'm also going to give this one a four out of five for functionality. I think it is a really good spray mop. I do think it is a little lightweight though, but they have kind of incorporated this in the design by adding that extra feature in the middle with a bit of a handle. So I'm going to give it a four out of five for this. I'm going to give this spray mop a three and a half out of five for quality. I do feel like it's pretty good quality. It's about what you would expect for the price. It's about what you would expect from Kmart. It's all right. It's not great. It kind of does the job, but all things considered, it's not too bad. It definitely works. It's got a few little issues. So three and a half out of five for this one. So the real clincher for this one, guys, is environmental factors. One out of five for environmental factors for this and purely because you can't buy replacement heads that don't come with the full plastic attachment inside. Like I said before, this super bothers me, it sucks. I just wish you could buy a couple of extra heads without having to buy the whole body thing. So one out of five for this one. And finally guys, this one I'm gonna give four and a half out of five for aesthetics because I really just think this spray mop looks really nice especially again considering the price and the fact that it's from Kmart. I really like that they've used a simple color palette of gray and white and they haven't made it super gaudy by using green or light blue or like super bright colors or anything like that. I really like that they've made the pad gray and I just think that it looks really nice, especially for how cheap it is. So four and a half out of five, good job on that one Kmart. I think it looks really nice for what it is. So guys, after tallying all of the results, that is a 3.6 out of 5 for this spray mop. It was really brought down by the fact that you can't buy replacement heads without buying the plastic attachment as well. So if Kmart looked to improve on that, then this would be a much, much higher star rating for this product. So guys, I hope this video has helped you out in making your decision whether or not you want to go ahead and buy this Kmart spray mop, especially if you're sitting on the fence on this product. If this did help you out, please consider giving me a like. And if you like this video, maybe even consider subscribing. You just might like my next videos coming up as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.